I was recently asked by a fairly small and young human why we don't just throw a lot of our waste into volcanoes, specifically into the ones that have lava lakes. It's a surprisingly good question. After all, we already burn trash, so why don't we let nature take care of it for us? Better incinerated in a hellish pond than floating around waiting to be inadvertently eaten by fish, right? Great question. Glad he asked. When you picture throwing garbage into a volcano, you're probably thinking of a nice, friendly, cone-shaped volcano with a hole at the top, and in the middle of the crater, you're probably picturing a lovely lava lake. Perfect for throwing trash into, right? But not all volcanoes are cooperative like that. The ideal trash incinerator would be a slow-erupting volcano that gradually spews lava out onto the surface of the Earth, like the volcanoes in Hawaii, called shield volcanoes. But the majority of volcanoes on Earth are stratovolcanoes, which occasionally have lava flows like Kalua, which also have the unfortunate tendency to explode when the pressure of hot gas and magma inside the volcano gets to be too much. Long story short, you don't want to throw trash into an explosive volcano, think Mount St. Helens, when it's erupting. If you're close enough to throw trash into the exploding mass of molten rock, ash, and gases, you're already dead. Volcanoes are one of the most unforgiving natural phenomena on Earth. If you were to fall into its magma-filled center, you would quickly bubble up, your hair follicles would instantly melt and vaporize, the skin would melt off your bones, and the bones would melt soon after. You would disappear without a trace. Yes, a volcano is indeed a gruesome way to depart this mortal coil. However, if we throw our waste in there, that would perish too, right? Did we just solve a global crisis? No, not really. In order to dispose of all the trash in a volcano, you'd need to first locate an active volcano and lug the trash there. That's the first problem. Not many people live near active volcanoes, so transporting trash to a volcano would cost time, money, and a whole lot of fuel. Then there's the fact that an even smaller number live near the right kind of active volcano. While volcanoes might seem like the ideal natural incinerator for our massive amounts of garbage, there are a few obstacles between us and a magical geological trash chute to the center of the Earth. First, lava lakes are undeniably complex and unpredictable wonders of nature. Being extremely hot, they can melt plenty of things, but not everything. There are thousands of forms of plastic, rubber, fabrics, and other such materials that would float atop the viscous lava rather than sinking into the heated void. Secondly, lava lakes aren't infinitely deep. All that melted trash has to go somewhere, and although some would disappear in plumes of smoke and vapor, the type that would be incredibly harmful to breathe in, much would be subsumed within the lava lake. The rubbish wouldn't simply sink into an infinite oblivion. As frightening as lava lakes are, they still have a finite volume, and it's often on the move up and out of the vent. And this means that polluting remnants would erupt out into the surrounding landscape, which would contaminate the soil, or they would be jettisoned skywards in a fire fountain, meaning the hazardous lava droplets that scatter and splatter everywhere would now be not only scorching hot, but toxic. Believe it or not, that's not even the destructive part of this approach. Lava lakes are unstable beneath their semi-solid, comparatively cool upper layer. If you pierce their surfaces with a relatively cold object, like a piece of trash, the sudden transfer of heat could trigger a chain reaction of explosions. The upper layer starts melting down, releasing pressurized acidic steam and fumes from the vaporized trash. A single tin can might serve as a trigger to start this chain reaction and invoke the wrath of the previously stagnant lava lake. Now imagine the impact of throwing an entire nation's garbage in a volcano. Unimaginably destructive chain reactions would begin. To put this in perspective, minute rock falls into lava lakes of Hawaiian volcanoes have forced lava more than 85 meters, or 280 feet, into the air. The scenario with tons of garbage would be far more treacherous and perilous for anyone working on the garbage disposal task. It's unlikely that somewhere like Hawaii would be happy to take on billions of tons of the planet's rubbish every year, especially considering it's not a great way of disposing of trash in the first place. Even if it did, the shipping distance would increase the carbon footprint of the waste disposal by magnitudes. So not only would we be massively polluting the local environment, we'd be giving climate change a huge helping hand too. It's past time we figured out how to manage global waste smartly, economically, and resourcefully. Discovering new methods of waste disposal is no excuse for producing more and more waste, exponentially and blindly, around the world, particularly as new populations become fully industrialized. It's ultimately our choice whether we wish to segregate our waste, reuse what can be reused, recycle most things, and decompose what we can, 
or we can be carefree and careless, relying on the seemingly endless oceans to handle our trash. So throwing the mass detritus created by human civilization into a volcano isn't an option. If you're looking for more content like this, they're all available for you on this channel. You've just got to make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss one.